using the app on a Mac. At the moment, so at the moment, I'm using iPad Mini. Program is called Spark View. Spark View. Tap to open. This is the start on uh, the student start mode. This one, you just go first one, press build. You want to select the template, how many temperature sensors, and everything you want to select. I prefer this one personally. Two small options and one large screen for the graph. Okay, now we have a few different uh, tabel options. One, have it as a graph, we have a measurement as a temperature reading, as a uh, column graph, as a dial. These ones, these two, I prefer the graph and just an uh, actual value. So, for the large one, I want to see graph because it's most easy to see, of course, what is happening. The smaller ones, I want to have temperature. I want to have temperature. But at this moment, I don't have any sensor connected yet. So, Bluetooth is on, on my device. Now, each Pasco view temperature sensor, there's the on button, yeah, on button, and an identification code. And when it's on. So, if I turn it on, it's registered, showing me. I'll turn up the top one as well, and the one in the boiler. And I will add them in height. So this way I also know which temperature is which, because it will be one, two, and three. If I press the Bluetooth, it says, hey, available devices to connect. So I first have to look at the bottom one, 622461. That's the top one. So I press that one, it says connecting, and it's connected. Following, I'll do my second temperature sensor, which is 116. 597 116597 and of course the 116861 connected to all of them I press done now now I can select a measurement for each temp sensor so this one I'm gonna have collection because that's the most important one that's the highest one Temperature free. Next, I want my measurement in also the column, the second one underneath. So I can see exactly what's reflux is happening. Next, I want to do my graph, but at the moment I want to have, I can have one sensor. So, for example, have my collection, but I also want to have my uh, boiler and my secondary column temperature. So, how can I do that? Here, there's an add graph. So, press it once, get a second te temperature measurement, add a second one. Now I have three temperature sensor possibilities. Also add the other sensors, one and two. Now, now you can see everywhere I have temperature sensor reading temperature one, temperature three, and the others. Also you'll get a graph, which will be key with which when you start to run what numbers are which colors okay now at the moment my graph is very centered I won't be able to see very much information so what I want to do is I want to drag that zero line down low next I want to have a different scaling because this is all different and I won't be able to notice what's actually really happening so what I'll do on the temperature itself change the value so I see till about 100 degrees because we're going only to 100 next do it for my second temperature try and line them up as perfect as possible just move the graph slightly there we go, 200. And also place this one to 100. So they're nice in line. Next, I can move my table. So, having from zero all the way to 100 degrees, 
what I want to next do is I actually want to lock them. So this way they won't actually change scale. So now I can move them but it won't change the scale. Next, we have a periodic measurement. How often it will actually measure differences uh, in temperature. So, that's uh, 10 Hz, it's very often. I can change the sample rate down to, for example, 2 times per second, 1 times per second, every 2 seconds, 5 seconds. I preferably use 2 seconds or once every second. It's more than enough. Okay, we press OK. Now, this page is done. So we now can see the, what the collection points we're collecting at, this was very important, and of course the graph over time. What we can also do is here, top section, we have a plus for an ex extra page. So we can add extra template. I'll go down, we have multiple possibilities. I prefer to then use this one. Three tables. Put each one, the temperature, select the measurements, one, two, and three. So one. In the middle two and the top one is three this way you can always have another extra page where you can see ah this is what temperatures i have received are at all points exactly now i can go back here between one page one and two all the other software it will be up top change between page one and two if i go now go back i can now press start we will now see the different colors for the different temperature probes. I1 is temperature 1, I2, temperature 2, Y3, temperature 3. We can see the temperature, of the, temperature the top one, collection point is 16.9, 16.2, uh, 16, sorry, 16.7 for reflux. And if we go to the second page, we can see all the three different temperatures. So we can see actually our boiler temperature is actually, because it's filled with liquid, it's only 15 degrees.